may have been Shane Van Gisbergen's best opportunity then. He was right there. And sometimes the go is, Matt, what you do is you fake. So you basically say, no, I won't do that, I won't do that. Then the next time, have a big dive, a big dive bomb dive. And he's going to have to be bold because you won't get up the inside there and make an effective pass if you don't have that sort of dive. Oh! Frosty almost gave the fence a hit. He did, actually, in the same spot that we saw Jack Perkins. He just hit those tyres on the way out of 13. Shane Van Gisbergen has finished seventh, uh, third, seven times this, this season. He won't be happy with second, I can tell you, after this battle. He wants that first spot. And the radio contact then was concentrate, mate, concentrate. He can't concentrate any harder than this. Whoops. Oh. That's a little mistake. And that'll bring Winterbottom again closer to him. Now he knows that when you do that, you can't make the pass. So you've definitely got to make the chicane. So he can't make that mistake again. To win this race, you've got to make the first chicane. Running out of laps, running out of time. He's not running out of inspiration, that's for sure. Two things will come from this race. If Wing Cup wins, we know what, he's, what it's done in the series, and this is a championship-changing day for Wing Cup. It will be an extraordinary race for him. If Van Giersbergen can get by, then we know, from Stone Brothers and from young Shane's perspective, be one of the great days for that team and this young guy from New Zealand. We've been saying for quite a while, and we've seen it on various racetracks around the world, that Shane Van Giersbergen is a star in the making. This is a superstar drive, and he can stamp it with victory against Wing Cup if he can pull him in. New Zealanders are saying that this is the best kid since Jim Richards, so it's a big, a big, big wrap. And again, he's just dropped a little bit of time on Jamie Wing Cup out of the final corner. He missed a gear change then, and that gave Wing Cup a little breather. And also probably just thinking twice oh, going down to Kane. Mistake. Well, if he was close, he would have been there. And he's been so close. He's been fingernail close. He's been tapping Wing Cup around turn four the last three times. On the one time that Wing Cup goes wide, he's not close enough to make it stick. He didn't capitalise because he'd lost that little bit of ground down the straight. He missed a gear change. It was two or three car lengths. And the only mistake that we've seen Jamie Wing Cup make, he got away with it. Wink up will be saying to himself in that car now, I can't make that mistake again. I've got to make sure that I make every apex. I make every brake marker. Van Gisberg going to be saying, gee, I hope Jamie makes that mistake again. Oh, exactly. And I'm going to be there when he does. And I'm going to help him like that. I'm going to help him make that mistake. He's up the inside. You want to, don't make contact now. Go. Don't Go make contact. Down the front straight. He's got him. It's a duel for the lead. Wink up versus... Van Gisbergen, the Kiwi, against the defending series champion. This is an almighty dive into the chicane. Oh! And they make contact. Both of them go through and car number one pops out in front. It's not done with yet at turn four. Van Gisbergen keeps yeah, going. Go for it. Keeps pushing. Just go to reserve, go to reserve too, please. They've got nothing left in the tank. Go to reserve, keep it in front, but go to reserve. Great driving, great driving. Unbelievable, just incredible racing at maximum oh. speed. <laughs> I have not seen a better closing stage of a race for a long time. As Van Gisbergen has a little look. The way he's going, it's Van Gisbergen this all or nothing. Lap, mate, sure. This is the last lap, there will be a dive. This really is an all or nothing approach from the young Kiwi. And the only thing you can do is give him a serve. He'll bump him here. He'll bump him front him wide. He can't do it. Wind Cup's going to hold on. Wind Cup has fought off an extraordinary battle. And he takes victory in a race to remember. What a race. Great work, boys. Sorry, boys. I just couldn't pull it up there and the chicane. Otherwise, you would have to give it up. But fantastic race. I'm very proud of you guys. We're finally better than Holy smoke. Unbelievable. I reckon I could seriously say I've seen it all now. It was an absolute war for two days on the streets of the Gold Coast, and it comes down to this. A battle like you cannot believe between...
between the young bloke from New Zealand and the series champion. What about round the back? What about round the back straight? <laughs> While he's trying to put a move, they're side by side rubbing panels. And Shane Van Gisberg is getting encouragement on the radio. Go, give it to him. <laughs> Just unbelievable. There might be a little bit of drama still to play out of this, you know, because they both ran through there. And at the time of, the, of that part of the corner, Van Gisbergen was actually in the lead. So as you come through there, both guys are not credited with it. And they run to the next section of road with Jamie in the lead. So there could be a bit of controversy after this. There'll be a bit of drama in the back of pit lane. So Mark Dutton saying, no, that's fine. That's fine. So, And also congratulations.